This is a CBS News special report. I'm Harry Smith reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good morning. Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, wounded in an assassination attempt just about two weeks ago, is about to take the next big step along what's expected to be a long road to recovery. She is leaving University Medical Center in Tucson this morning and will be flown to a rehab facility in Houston, Texas, for evaluation and therapy. An ambulance is taking her from the hospital to Davis Monthan Air Force Base. From there, she'll be flown to Hobby Airport in Houston, then transferred to a helicopter for the final leg of the trip. Among those traveling with her, her husband, the astronaut Mark Kelly, and her uh, mother, Gloria Giffords, and our Ben Tracy, as he has been for two weeks now, standing by in Tucson with the latest. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Harry. You know, the Congresswoman is going to have quite an escort to the airport here in Tucson today. There is going to be po local police motorcycles. There are also going to be some volunteer motorcycles, members of the local VFW have decided they want to join this procession at some point. So this is going to look a little bit like a presidential motorcade at some point. However, the VIP in this case is actually in the ambulance. They expect this uh, journey to the Air Force Base to take about 20 minutes and then she'll be loaded onto a plane. That plane will fly to Houston Hobby International Airport. She will then take a helicopter from there to the rehabilitation center where she'll be handed off to her new doctors and likely spend quite a few months there in Houston. Harry. Um, allay some people's fears about her having to undergo this sort of a really arduous journey for a person in her condition. Um, what, what do the doctors and what do the medical experts say about a journey like this? That's a question we've actually asked the doctors here, and they're fairly confident. They're not actually not that worried at all. This plane that she's going to get on is basically an air ambulance. It's like a flying hospital room. And on the plane with her today will be her trauma surgeon, Dr. Peter Ree, who has been treating her here at the University Medical Center, as well as a trauma nurse. So they have a lot of folks there, and he will actually hand her off to the surgeon there in Houston. It's almost like the passing of the baton, kind of the medical version of that, and then that doctor then will be responsible for her care. So they're very confident. They think that they have uh, this move well planned for and that she'll be fine. Mm -hmm. The one thing I want to bring up is, is the fact that uh, as traumatic an injury as she sustained, her remarkable uh, her, uh, uh, recovery in the last 13 days has been nothing short of remarkable. Uh, where she's about to go and what she's about to undergo uh, is, uh, it, it's, this is no walk in the park. This is really tough stuff. And that's a really good point. You know, in the last 13 days, a lot of people have been talking about how miraculous this is, how fast the recovery has been, and that's all very true. But the doctors now are really trying to caution people. They're trying to dial back those expectations and say that once she goes to rehab, this process gets long and it gets slower. Those milestones won't come quite as quickly. There's going to be a lot of work. She has to learn how to walk again. She has to learn how to talk again. Her doctor yesterday told us that she may have to learn very simple things like how to brush your teeth. So a long journey, of course, Harry. Ben Tracy, thank you so much. And such a poignant picture yesterday as they uh, took the congresswoman up to a, uh, a landing at the hospital so she could actually uh, feel the sunlight on her face and look at her uh, beloved mountains there outside, uh, outside Tucson. Uh, so Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords is on her way to rehab uh, uh, in Houston as she continues her recovery from her gunshot wound. There will be more about this story on your local one, right? news on the CBS station and on our website, cbsnews.com, and on tonight's CBS Evening News with Katie Cohen. For Ben Tracy in Tucson, I'm Harry Smith, CBS News, New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.